Okay, man. It literally all comes down to this. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Nope. <laughs> <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Yeah, uh, that was horrible. No, the crooked man has to stand justice, man. He really does. Lily's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the Strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and... She doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. <laughs> I love my answer. Okay. So the intro portion of this final chapter is obviously just a recap of the entire game. So this is definitely just going straight to the point. I really wish I could just skip through this though. It's not really necessary once you've seen it in the first chapter. Okay then, it's on like Donkey Kong. Episode 5, Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. We did. You must be tired. Not really. Crooked Man's Lair. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? No, I want to take you to jail. Vivian makes a very nice, very... I told you. It's elegant. It's over. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I told you, crooked man, it's over. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff. Damn. For the sake of transparency, he's got power. Why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. Uh, you killed those you women. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. Uh, yes, perhaps. I know you did it. I know you did it. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I wish you had me dead to rights. I really do, for your own sake. But no, I didn't kill anyone. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very what? unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself. I know who did it, it was you. 
I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen. But who do you think committed these crimes? I hope you don't still uh, think I did it. It I was my bad habits. It was you. But manslaughter isn't one of them. Don't give me this employee bullshit. I know it was you. <laughs> what must I say to convince you that I'm innocent, dear? It wasn't me. I have complete respect for you and your job. I really do, but I'm sorry. I simply can't divulge the transgressor. Someone else might have pulled the trigger, so to speak. You really should. But it was orchestrated yourself. by him. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? Shut up. The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take I'm the, the law here and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance. Alliance? You have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. It's it's Georgie. a lie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? It's a lie. You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You yeah. will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. Yeah, it this was is right, bollocks this. He exactly he You're just gonna might let him have done do it. So what do you yeah, say? It was all him. Can we discuss terms? No. You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. I'll take our I'll take both of you. Cooperation. I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions. Not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'll give a fuck if I'm the one Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of I here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Oh, Things snap. Things about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. Oh, God, you I can, can feel the tension. at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What well, are Crooked you Man is more important to me. I'm running out of patience, Crooked Man. I don't have time to fuck around here. This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. I did. Because I'm to speak here the truth, I've never been a very good for you. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Here goes. Uh oh. Well, hello there, Bloody Mary. Ready for round two? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. I I knew that was gonna happen. We're surrounded. Let's go. Come on, baby. You Jersey Devil, you. Take this. Oh God. Wait, what did we just break? Oh, that don't leads outside of this place. We're pretty much done here. Oh snap! Oh god! I'd like to say it was nice knowing you. No! I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Oh snap! He just killed a brother. Oh snap, dude! This is getting very, very out of control. To be fair, he's defending himself in this situation. Get out of here! 
way. Jersey Devil really is not. He looks cool, but he's he's a weenie. Sit your butt down. What about the brother? Beginning of the end? Come on, Dorothy. Oh, shit. I know. Oh snap, let's go. The chase begins. Oh my god. That's cool. He's, he's got to change the game. Look at Tokyo Drift over here. Come on, let's go. Top speed. Oh, we're gonna go on top of the buses? Oh. <laughs> this is cool! Let's go! Where'd Tokyo Drift go? Oh, we're gonna take to the, to the roof. Oh, oh no, my finger! Oh, I made it just in time. My finger slipped off of the joystick for a second. Oh, there's Tokyo Drift. I'm coming for you, Tokyo Drift. Woo! Look at him go. Let's go! We're on the freaking highway. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so happy I got on the right one. I kind of just... Oh no! The other one was the crooked man! Let's go here. Crap, we could have gotten the freaking crooked man! No! Take him off! I can't! Man, if I would have known that was an option, I would have went for the other car. But this guy might might snitch on him now that he's basically in danger by the crooked man. Man. Oh. On it. Are you sure? Do it. He's not moving. Keep going. I'm not worried about you. Did we? Did we lose him? Where did they go? Oh, there they go. They went to the only obvious place that they could have gone to. Got me some clothes, I see. Alright. And it just so happens to be the exact clothes I was wearing the entire game. <laughs> I love it. Let's take a look at this real quick. That's a car. Blood splatter. Yeah, he's, he's probably going to die. Let's just get in there. Enough investigating. This house of straw. Come on. We can't stay here. Uh, hang on. I need a minute. Okay. Ah, screw that. Let's go in there. How did this happen, Georgie? How did... No matter what happens, we still have to arrest him. Shit. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Uh, maybe you just like me you're coming too much with me. to let me go. I'm taking you in, George. I want to take Let's them both go. with me. Oh. You're going to carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. 
He's dying. Uh, Vivian, you don't know what you're stay doing. Out of this I'm trying video. to help you here. Get out of the way. Now. No. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered... Of course it does. Those girls... So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking... Mean... Ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? Literally. <laughs> you know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't uh... fucking blame me for that. Look, Why did you do it? Sometimes Jeff? you just have to do what you're told. Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good for you nothing fucking bastard it. decides you're not worth shit anymore. You didn't have to do anything. Like hell I didn't. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. Yeah, no. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. You're... He told me to kill them. And then he That's fucking not sold my problem. me out. That's not my problem. Oh, I get it. When a pretty little girl shows up at your door wanting help, you've got all the time in the world. Not even but close. But when I've got something to say, it's not your problem. <laughs> no, you're under arrest, dude. <laughs> Well, fuck you. So is the crooked man. I'm taking you both down. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. Yeah, but at least it's bringing them justice. It's so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you, you know? You could have let them go. At the end of the day, you're just like him. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if freeing Lily meant she had to die... Do you still Wait. think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told She's you. She's involved? Wait. How is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. Oh, keep wow. Keep quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted those were you. Your you ribbons? can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. Clearly you don't. Understand. Nobody was supposed to die. So you gave them the we one thing that would kill them if they removed it, it. It was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. Gee, I so, wonder why. Do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the we'll fucking find another day. Way. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches can... Don't talk can... about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I Not if you're involved. You oh, don't crap. get a choice if you're involved in this. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my I life. I thought she was about to offer herself. I thought it would be different here. 
But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them? Vivian, Oh my god. Wait, I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What oh are you my doing? god. Vivian. Don't. Oh. Vivian. No. Oh, Fuck. what? No, 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 no. Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian. Damn oh it. Oh my god. That was horrible. Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just. Wow. Oh, my God, I'm speechless. Oh, fuck. Get up. Get up. Don't think so, Bigby. He's, he's going to die. I'm going to die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. I will. Give me where he's at. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He'll get it worse than you. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Good. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. <laughs> I knew he was in a snitch. I had a feeling, but still. You me off now? <laughs> or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's, what That's not who I am. That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. I'm just gonna leave him. What? You're just gonna leave me here? I'll send. I won't be a killer. I won't be a killer, Georgie. You selfish bastard. Fuck you! Piece of shit. I feel horrible, but... He did... I don't know. All of this is all messed up. This is very complicated. This ending is absolutely insane. And we had to, we had, we had to turn off the lights. <laughs> Damn. So this is it, man. This is it. We're going to go stop the Crooked Man. Shepherd Metalworks. Oh, it is time. It is time. Let's do this. Of course. Oh, we're going to break it. <laughs> He better be here. Imagine Georgie was lying and, and he isn't even dying. Hold on. Oh, this is it. Look, there's the logo. So this is where they've been sending these. Got him, dude. We got him. Those lights better be automatic. Because then that just means that they know I'm here. Oh, it's Mary. Where is she? The big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought there was more. Never mind. So let's go. Where are you? 
I just want to talk. Come here, Mary. You used to be something. Did I? Oh, wow. Wow. This is all the information we needed. That's what got her killed. This is her snitching and got her sister killed. I don't know about this one. That's probably a target. I don't know. This is just probably staking me out. That got her killed. Maybe. I don't know. Let's go. All the. They all used to fear you. Not anymore? They'd hide anywhere. Their small, shivering bodies. Wow, they did torturing here. Yeah, this guy's a real piece of work. What do we have in here? Reloading ammunition. There's silver bullets. Silver. It's a reloading bench. Oh, hello. That was cute. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> uh, I'm talking hey, to you. I'm talking to you. Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? No. Or was she too busy <laughs> fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Wow. Oh, it's on. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, she's good. Is that the best you can do? No. Oh, <laughs> so much for not hitting women. To be fair, we're defending ourselves. But still. Plus, she's fully capable to defend herself, too. Where'd she go? She's seriously creepy. And she's ridiculously fast. I don't know why I'm choosing this side first. I just have this hunch. I'm probably wrong, but it's okay. Oh, she's probably gonna sneak around and punch me, watch. There isn't even any pipes there. The smoke is literally coming out of a box. Oh, snap! I didn't react fast enough. So this whole fight's gonna be quick time events. Well, it always is, but you know what I mean. Like, really fast ones. Where are you? Come out and face me. Oh, there she is. Wow. That looks That looks really cool. Ha. Oh. We have to fight his entire armada before we get to him. No, be nice to me. Mary, will you relax? Let me just off you already. Come on. Oh, whoa. We fell. Oh, we transformed. Oh, 
Neff. This should be an interesting battle now. Our final form versus her final form. Oh, snap, there's a lot of them? Oh, God. Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of them is not the half of it. There's a ton of them. Get out of here. Come on. Oh. Oh, this is horrible. Get out of here. Oh, get out of here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Are we gonna survive this? Wow. We have to get back up there. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow! That wasn't our final form. This is our final form. He literally turned into a wolf. Very disturbing. What's up? Oh god, I almost overshot that. Oh no! Oh, that was so close. She almost stabbed us in the face. But we off Bloody Mary. Might want to put some clothes on there, Big B. Oh, he knows it's over for him. Glad he didn't try to run. Hello, Big B. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. That's a good this reason. Hold six round. I don't care. <laughs> I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Like? Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Uh, that's the plan. You have to do what she says, don't you? That's right. What happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can Man. I at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? The whole town Man. calling for your execution. <laughs> 
I don't think that's the Why case. Do you want me to bring you back there. Why because don't you let me worry about that. Because he has the community Look, behind there's him. There's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. I have this to trust in justice. Caution. I I'm have sure to you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my uh, side of the story. I believe Georgie. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. No, I believe him. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because Your I'm not terms. saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. I have to trust in justice. Reckless. I really do. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Uh, do you really want to... It's truth? about justice. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Carried out by him, Georgia. but ordered by you. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I Clearly. understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. Let's, you know, let's I'm go. I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it. If you don't mind. What do you say? Give me the gun. Hey. Oh, sure that was Ms. good. We'll be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand Cuff why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. There you Give go. Trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. I hope. I have to trust in justice. I have to. Although, I have this gut feeling that he has the community behind him. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. I'm nervous. <laughs> Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. Uh. We were worried you'd run into some I'm trouble. I'm fine. At the crooked man's place. It's nothing. I'm fine. I guess you've been worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. That I'm alive and didn't go crazy? I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. I like her a lot, but I don't think they up. make a good throw this asshole down the fucking well. Dynamic. Yes. What are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking you crook. This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Uh-oh. Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of as Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I uh, don't you gave the order. interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? He's dead. Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Literally rotting. Is he still out there? I sincerely hope uh, not. He well, suffered he? at the end. Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. 
There's no that doesn't need change for this. anything. It, I agree. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You call the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait. Let her finish. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting yes. violence against various members of the Fable Town community, yes. including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. After freaking lootly. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, yes. you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale uh, of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell, you didn't. Stop the charade. Let it. know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other the crap he's done. Oh, crap. The rest no, of the I... charges are more than enough to deserve execution. We all know who you are. We know what you've done. Just give it up already. I wanted to the read out the things. The man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where it fucking belongs. Right. Holy snap. We with promised it you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, there you even go. when they don't deserve it. Agreed. This is ridiculous. He doesn't have to remove the cuffs, though. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? <laughs> Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, this is fucking bullshit! Bull 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 always been a bit of a powder keg. It's not what Georgie, Georgie said. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? I don't. Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. Uh, What's he talking about? It was a... Uh, I wouldn't call that help. Helpful isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to uh, save someone. You better have a point. I really hope you're going somewhere with this. I see. You want to cut right to the point. I can appreciate that. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah. That's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. He is. He's manipulating the but truth. Your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Oh, no. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Uh, that was Crane. Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? 
What about Archie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but oh, no. Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Don't so try to manipulate why us. Why would you want that? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big Bay just This is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. Oh, no. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. That... We've made some mistakes. That's disgusting. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. Uh, we're trying no to protect you. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Maybe you haven't noticed, but been doing all this to protect you we're trying to stop people like him the crooked man's been exploiting you exploiting your hope for a better life exactly you would go to him for help and he would take that weakness and he never cared about strength. any of you do you really think the crooked man cared about you he just cared about your money he cares about your obedience I think we're doing this you're right you're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Yes. He, she was her, his biggest advocate. Oh my god, we did it. I think we did it. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister. Yeah, you know what, he's such right. such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Uh, what about your so? history? So? Are we done? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... Oh, no! I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of mean... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him! Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Oh, God damn it, dude. Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? He was what? bitten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that Bluebeard did that. You can't be serious. That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. That's also true. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. You can tell he's so, just being manipulative. You won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened oh man Georgie man. killed faith and lily end of story they want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes isn't right. oh please this isn't the point we'll deal with them after we deal with you listen the laws apply when we need calm them. down Bluebeard, 
please. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the mean, reason a certain we're level here. of privilege should be afforded to yeah, me. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, we no. We rushed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? He's good. I'll admit that. Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you. Treating you as mindless children. Too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White! Oh God. Excuse me, I... dear. Please give me- I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder? she doing here? I'd like to- I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Uh... Bluebeard. What? Go ahead. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You I hope it doesn't backfire me, me on on us. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. You go, Vivian. girl, do I it. I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? She killed herself. Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. She killed Be herself. Quiet. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I'm Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This There you fucker. go. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith yes. and Lily are dead because of you. The only two and people he's who ever gave this a damn it. about me. And this just confirms it. An eyewitness. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. No. Now. Looks like we found our evidence. Oh my god, she yes. First hand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want uh, mercy? You know we can't let you go free after You're done talking. This. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can... He's a murderer! One again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good him. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't blood care. So we get rid of him. Danger. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. We should vote. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Yes, Do Big B. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Big B? What, what about, about him? him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. No. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. But... It's Noah. Just do what you think is right. <laughs> oh, this is tough. He's a dirtbag and he needs... Yes, Sheriff. Ah. Uh... Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking Rip lesson. off his head. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Let's lock him up. Not this one. Oh, oh, what? Oh my god, no. No, 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 no,
this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Lock him Finish up. Finish it, Sheriff. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be serious. what he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. I yes, do believe this is the right thing. There's a way. A life rotting Do it. makes me a little bit more happy. Love curious to know what you guys would have decided in this situation. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would have chose for the fate for the crooked man. And if I'm alone in this situation. On the way I chose. I'm satisfied though. I'm, I'm happy we won over the crowd. A crow? Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. Oh, that's... He's got a sharp <laughs> tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. That's awesome. Let's just call it even. She turned him into a crow. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. He's so awkward. This fucking line. <laughs> Back to square one. Look who it is. Oh, Business as uh, usual, I guess. Flycatcher left his keys. I just saw him right now, too. Uh, is everything okay? Is everything okay? You look. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. She's super busy now. We'll talk later, okay? Oh god, here he goes. Can't stand Good morning, this man. Miss White. You're late. I really don't like him. Bluebeard, he's such an ass. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that was funny. So who all is going to the farm? Yellow brick roadhouse? I like how they- I like that wordplay. The yellow brick road house? That's awesome. Oh, they're still going to the farm? I thought we settled that oh, situation. Golly. Jesus. We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, come on. I tried to help. Shit. Just go grab that, would you? I really did try. Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> that is pretty messed up. You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye. So, Aww. if you could bring it to her. Sure, of course. Yeah. Sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. Aww. That's a big one. They're She'll cool, love it. Because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. <laughs> Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, uh, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, TJ. But uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. 
Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? <laughs> We're all set. I feel oh, terrible. Nice. Sorry, TJ. Bye, TJ. Take care of you guys yourselves, hey, man. Hey, Bigby. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? Uh... How should I know? How should I know? Damn. I feel super terrible now. Saying goodbye? Hey. Hi. Are you leaving? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Probably out of memory, maybe? Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... Let's remove it. I think she'll be fine now. Let me help you. Bigby, I... <laughs> I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Okay, okay? yeah, that, that's fine. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. Uh-oh. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... Uh-oh. I had no choice. You have to understand. Oh, no. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Oh, no. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Just tell me. Marissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. Oh, no. We could just no. forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Um, you were trying to protect them? You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> touch her arm. She won't even let me touch her arm? Oh, I think that was a smile. I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Aww. Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? You shouldn't it have lied. It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of his stupid technicality. Especially after. That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh, that explains that. You? I walked her over here. Why? And so, I left her. So I would notice. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. Aww. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. That's not, not true. Really. That's not true. It is. 
You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I hope I so. Know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for uh, us. You don't see that a lot these days. She doesn't days. need me. Snow doesn't really need me. I'm sure that's not true. She's She's got a good head on her shoulder. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy. Yay! And you brought justice to this town. Super yay! Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left faith at your doorstep because I knew if I hope I've done some work, uh, some good. Crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Aww. I still don't agree that she lied, though. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Whoa, that was that was huge. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Wait, what? The one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Doctor Swinehart ever get back to you about things? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Wait, I'm so confused. Ah, let her go. I'm so confused. I don't know what just happened. I legit don't know. I'm lost. I'll see you around, Wolf. Whose voice is that? I can't... I don't remember. Happily ever after. Oh, that's the end. Let me see. Let's go around this. What did you do to Georgie? You and 31% of players left Georgie to die. So, most people gave him a mercy killing. I guess I understand that, though, to be honest. I was debating it. I don't know. I just... I don't know. It could have gone either way with me, to be honest. Uh, did you give the Crooked Man a trial? 89% of players brought Crooked Man back alive. I'm very happy that was the case. Uh, gives me faith in people. <laughs> uh, how did you punish the Crooked Man? You and 47% of players uh, chose to imprison the Crooked Man. I'm actually pretty surprised that that's so close to half. But then again, the kind of person he is, I'm not really that surprised. There was, yeah, I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Did you accept TJ's gift for Snow? You and 98% of players decided to accept TJ's gift. Yeah, of course. The, it's, he's just a kid. That doesn't surprise me at all in the slightest, to be honest. I'm a little concerned about the 1.5% one, the 1 of people that decided to... <laughs> yeah, that's funny, though. I like that. That's hilarious. Uh, to be honest, the 1.8% of people are probably just the people trying to do a, like an evil playthrough or something. I don't know. Uh, or people that are just trolling for some reason. Uh, what were your last words to Narissa? You and 54% of players said, I hope I've done some good here. All right, then. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this series. This was literally... An amazing game. I loved it so freaking much. And you know what? This makes me so excited to play The Wolf Among Us Part 2 when it decides to release. Super, super stoked about that game now, dude. I'm a, uh, Those of you guys who've been following the channel know that I'm actually a fan of the way that Telltale tells 
game, uh, uh, tell stories in their games. And frankly speaking, dude, this is just more of the same, which is one of the best compliments I could give this style of game. Because their style, their formula, if you will, works. And why change something that works, right? I mean, I guess you could improve on things and make things better. And that's what I'm hoping for the, the Wolf Among Us 2. But frankly speaking... This game was fantastic, and I would not have it any other way. But if you enjoyed this series too, though, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.